send this message to the Prime Minister, send this message to Mike Mukura, send this message to the Vice President, and all of them, we are here to deal with them. I will call to you, please, please, return a turn to Parliament. He is one of the greatest leaders we have in this country. He is one person who will never betray our cause. He is one person who will stand firm and you make your voice heard, not only in the Parliament, but the country at large. Members of parliament who have fought on the cause for the people, and we are not in order to lose even a single soldier. We can only add on. So, we request all of you, we request all of you, we request all of you, please, on Thursday, day, we are in it together. Please, my call to you, the people of Kampala are just waiting for one thing that you are voted at Kampala. I'm going to go back to Kampala on Friday, but I'm ready to go back with the only one thing.
Otherwise, you will also be burning your own hands. When I am in Teso, when I am in Soroti, I feel the fire. Thank you very much for maintaining the fire in Soroti. I want us to be clear what this election is about. This election is about one thing, justice. Justice. You know, I've been telling people that we say God is good and all the time love God, the reason we praise God is because God loves us equally. God is level. God is level. Whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are tall, whether you are short, whether you are a woman or a man, a child or adult, God loves us equally. Level. Level. What NRM has done to this country for now 37 years is to cause injustice, to take what belongs to everybody and give it to a few people. <laughs> Mbanyesi ya mamusari ya ita ituna itiriante Ito ya suamanu wale mar Apala ripura neja situnga nuipu Aibu wa ikinakani nitungi itis Ugandans, Ugandans who were Ugandans who were rich And many Ugandans were rich In 1986 All of them now are poor and, and the few when Arem has been giving money, a few are very rich while everybody is down. paritos. I want to see the people here, how many, especially our young people, how many people do not have jobs, hands up. I wish, I wish Mr. Museveni, when he comes any place in Uganda, 
he would see how many people he has made to be jobless, to be hopeless in their country. Mr. Museveni comes from a very poor home. The, 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 the family of Mr. Museveni could not have paid his school fees to get the degree that he got. If he was only able to get a degree because there was nobody paying for education in the university or in higher education. Education was free. That's why Museven has a degree. Today, nobody can get a degree. The people of Uganda would get medical care. Everyone would go to hospital and get medical care. Dr. Obote, in 1967, when he was shot, he went to Mulago for medical treatment. All the children of Dr. Obote were born in Mulago Hospital. A president Field Marshal, Field Marshal Idi Amin, all his children were born in Mulago Hospital. If Amin was sick, he would go to Mulago, Mulago Hospital. Mulago Hospital is not now a place for treatment, it's a place for death. We yeah. go there to die. Museveni has never been to Mulago Hospital. All his children, when they want to produce children, they are given aeroplanes to go to Europe to have treatment in Europe. When 18 mothers here die daily because they don't have good facilities to deliver our children. Teso, Teso has a rich part of Uganda with cows all over Teso. The cows of Teso were destroyed under the rule of Mr. Museveni. Now they want the Iteso to beg for Posho. Just ask for Posho. Now, as we talk, people are dying of hunger. You have heard how many people are dying in Karamoja of hunger. Even here in Teso, people are hungry. We are a country without any food reserve anywhere. Even this. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's understand. This election, your vote on Thursday is not just about Honorable Atan. Your vote is a vote for your own future. said that Atan is somebody I have worked with personally. 
Atan is a really honorable man. Atan is a consistent man. If you take off from him, with him, if you start a journey with him from here to Soroti, he won't reach just in front there and make a corner and go the wrong way. I was here. I was here campaigning for Ariko to become, a, to become an MP. I campaigned for Ariko to become an MP of FDC. I All these things I have been talking about, which are wrong with the NRM. That was what Ariko was saying while looking for a vote under FDC. He was saying NRM is terrible, and he knew why it was terrible. But when he went to parliament, he started doing some funny things. It was not clear whether he was blue, whether he was yellow, whether he was in between. People started saying, but where is Ariko going? One Uganda. One people. One people. One Uganda. When, at, when uh, Ariko came back in 2021 to ask for a vote, a flag of FDC, the people of FDC said, no, we don't know where you are going exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And they refused to give him the flag. <laughs> So indeed like a person who doesn't know where he is going, he stood as an independent, meaning he has no direction. He was independent and the people of Soroti said, ah, we are not going to vote for you. They voted for that. So I was very surprised when I came now in this by election, we should never have been there. There was no reason for this by election. This by election is not because Atan did not win. Nobody says Atan did not win. Including Ariko, he does not say Atan did not win. But he's here looking for a vote to replace somebody who he says he won. So I would have been, it would have been okay if I found him here still as a candidate of independent. But I was surprised to find him as a candidate of NRA. <laughs> The NRM he spent many years telling you was a terrible thing. Now I had him last night on TV 
saying we in NRM government, as if he has been in NRM government. <laughs> But that shows you that NRM itself is finished. If NRM cannot find a candidate for Soroti, they look around, they have no candidate. They have to look for Hariko. Then we are really here. Bike NRM, a mame doctor, a candidate, a mame case to one and a pair of bolo bol. Don't I hear a kinda lamuna rico, a quenyan is a quenyar, but rico that shoot a yoni NRM. So, ladies and gentlemen, there are two things that have brought us here. First of all, as I said, this election of a town should never have been cancelled. We have come here to ask you to now not reaffirm his election, but to demonstrate that if he won with 60, 70 percent, now he wins with 99 percent. So Rocky is a buyer. say on our because, because you have shown them that you are going to vote for a turn. That's why they are fidgeting now, bringing money, bringing food. I understand the trailers of food are arriving. Tomorrow they will be distributing food so that you may vote for Ariko. That is your food. That is Atan. Atan has brought this food. Definitely. After collecting the food, after collecting the food, carrying it on your head, go singing Atan. Oh yeah. But the second reason we are in Teso is that we want now to end the injustice of NRM. I stood as a candidate against him seven four times. Everybody in Uganda knows I defeated him seven four times. But all the four times they used the guns to silence everybody and to announce them seven as the winner. In 2016, because I knew nobody would announce me, I announced myself as the winner. And when we were passing by Soroti Flying School there, I remembered after announcing myself, they arrested me in Kampala 
Tuku mitu narufe nya ini jinja From jinja they put me in a small aeroplane Which came here to this, air, this airfield to, to get more, more, more fuel To continue to Moroto To imprison me in Moroto
happen. I am here because I know that the people of Soroti and the people of Uganda want to see us together. And I am also here because we respect the voices of the people. The people of Soroti had an MP who Museveni and his party wanted to get out. In the previous elections, we had a candidate as NUP and FDC had a candidate and the FDC candidate won. So we want to listen to the voices of the people and therefore we sat as National Unity Platform and we agreed that to win Museveni we must win when we are together. Museveni is only surviving because he's dividing us. So I am here with our former MP to prove support to our brother, the Honorable Atan. I want to also tell you this. You are the one with the power. Museveni only survives by buying the leaders of the people that he oppresses. He buys from every party. He buys from FDC. He buys from UPC. He buys from DP. And also buys from NUP. You saw a few days ago what he did to Mao. You also saw what he did to our sister here in Soroti. The one You are the ones with the power. Even when Museveni buys leaders, when you say no, Museveni will go. But most importantly, whether, whether you are FDC, whether you are NUP, whether you are DP, whether you are people power, for as long as Museven is still in power, you are a slave. We might have our differences. But one thing must unite us. That is called forcing Museveni out. Whenever, whenever there is an opportunity to unite, please let us unite. Whenever there is chance to unite, let us work together. I hope this gesture today will be a beginning of working together even in many other things. Therefore, I want to conclude by on behalf of NUP, on behalf of People Power and all the teams that I lead to endorse our brother from FPC. to give him a seven of a red card.